I sure didn't do that. This is the Shift the Blame game. You know, titles should be Seraph, not Sans Seraph. Do you want them in Seraph? <laughs> like, li- like, literally, like, I had everything organized in a nice little way. I added some emojis in here. That nobody oh. likes. That everyone hates, but, you know... <laughs> Why can't I put capital letters in the um, channel be- names? Be- because Discord doesn't recognize capital yeah, letters. Yeah, you have to use a Discord right, that's font what we generator. So you have to use a Discord font. font. Right. Yeah, you have to go to a website that creates key for a uh, Discord font and then paste them into And then Discord paste them into Discord, correct. Hi, this is Michael Hurley from Ghost Galaxy, and you're listening to Archon's Corner. And you are correct. Okay, sir. we got to record some stuff because nobody cares what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, what's going on, everybody? I am the one, the only, the W O O K I E, joined here by my favorite misfits. We had, we had the whole crew's here this week. What's up, guys? Yay! It's been a while. Yay! Drazcore is back um, from sucking. So, <laughs> how was your vacation, Drazcore? Where did you go? Oh. That was great. Uh, went to Ireland actually. You went to Ireland? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> a whole you my, went to a whole other country? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. My uh, my brother in law is Irish, so oh, uh, we went to Ireland with him. Did you see the? Did you kiss the Blarney Stone? No, no, we didn't kiss the Blarney Stone, but we did plenty of other cool stuff. Did you don't, get? Don't some... don't kiss don't kiss the Blarney Stone. Why? All the locals will urinate on it. Just don't. oh. Oh, well, that's good to know. Because <laughs> they find it um, funny that people are going kissing it. Short story. Got it. Did you get the chance to sneak away? You got a lot get... of pee stories today, you are. Yeah, you got say. a lot of pee stories. I think you might have a fetish. But that's for a different, that's for Keyforge After Dark. Um, there you go. Did you uh, sneak away for any good scotch? I did have some good scotch, yeah. Did you? The, um, so From... the interesting thing was I... Um, because uh, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to like try some scotches and I'll bring something back that I like and I'll bring something back that, you know, I can't get here. It'll be so cool. But I kept looking stuff up like basically everything's available in the U.S. Almost. Yeah. yeah. Um, from a, was, it, was it cheaper? And it wasn't scotch, actually. It was Irish whiskey, I should oh, say. Oh, it's just Irish. Scotch is from Scotland. It's from Scotland. Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Scotch- Scotland. Also, oh, from, also, Scotland. Oh. also from also uh, from Scotland. Also from Scotland. Scotch Have you been in tax? Have you been drinking tonight, <laughs> sir? May or may not be drinking some right now. Clearly, you've been <laughs> taking a little bit of the Wookie Can't Talk serum. Um, <laughs> we should bottle that up, just like your uh, secret resealing glue. But yeah, uh, yes. that's why I, I mean. But like, you're right there. So I thought maybe like there's a you could sneak away a little. Like I don't know how far away you were. I guess so. To maybe, Scotland? Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like across the across the the water, sir. It's not super close. Well, you never heard of boats? Like, is this not a thing in your world? Or uh, all right, honey, uh, all right, kids. I mean, see you like two I mean, days from people, now. There are people s- swim in the English Channel, and like, I mean, I, I like I said, I didn't know how close you were. Maybe you got maybe you were close enough where you could sneak across and then come back. All right, sneak across. I you you, or, you move on. I'll, I'll tell you how far it is. Hold get on. on a boat. I mean, I guess I don't know how far, how long of a boat ride it is, too. I can't imagine it's like terribly, terribly long, but like, I mean, see this the sights. It's like not Keyforge again. Oh my God, Dan, live a little. The ferry just, takes two hours. A fer- see, there's a ferry. Two hours. See the sights. Whatever. But then we got Dan. What's up, Dan? Grumpy? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Grumpy again. Yeah, that's accurate. Did you get, you didn't get your woe yet that I, I can take into account? No, You'd be I, way... I want my Grim Reminders cards more than I want more Woe decks. Whoa, oh, I want whoa, 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 sour puss. Just kick them out, man. Whoa. This is it's all okay. about Woe now, not GR. It's, I've it's... had Woe for a long time. It's you haven't true. had quantity Woe that you want and to be able to have access to. You've had Woe to play with. That's different. We have Woe at home. We need to get our special names decks and our Unchained decks yes. so that we can run the uh, AC uh, events. Uh, so uh, decks. Gonna suck, and that's Unchained gonna... AC event <laughs> and special named AC event coming soon. This is true. Talk, talk, make talk, my day brighter. 
Talk about our X Ray Sucks uh, event. Yeah, I will. I will tell you that. Oh yeah, X Ray Sucks. I, I did get a shipping notice on one of the one of uh, the accounts that went through. How, so how that, many, that how many the, did you get? Three. Um, well, I found out that the so the in laws had purchased one for my birthday. So right. Tara is actually the one that's that's where um, that's she's where on, that shipment she's is. On that email, is. Yeah, and you got one. Yeah, actually, then, um, it was it was very interesting because that shipment, um, that shipment notice came from U.S. Uh, so UPS, and I guess I was anticipating something coming from GG. First. So maybe those out there, maybe you're just going to be looking for the shipping notice coming directly from UPS. But it says, hey, it's shipping out. So UPS said we got this. It's scheduled for tomorrow. So that's Friday for us guys. The twelfth. Yeah, that's tomorrow. That is tomorrow. That's, tomorrow. that's exciting. Did and you actually, guys... I mean, that, that is that's pretty fun in order to have multiple shipments for me. I mean, I was blessed and lucky enough to be able to do that, but to not have to wait for all of it to have it in um, a couple different series will be fun. So Tuesday, yeah. Tuesday, Wookie, you should actually come out. Sheep, are you going to be there? We could play um, some. Wolf. I will not be there Tuesday, unfortunately, but the Tuesday after or that, I will be there because I'm taking vacation. That's the reason I can't take that Tuesday off. Because uh, I have to take the 16th off for my daughter for donuts, donuts with grown-ups. And then uh, the 17th is my wedding anniversary. That's a thing that exists in my world. So, uh, Speaking of X-Ray Sucks, uh, Z's here. Yes. Yeah, you're here. Hey, he's here. Just say present. Present? There I you said go. something earlier. And uh, we got the Ewokiest of Ewoks, Ewok Jr. You already heard him. He's excited. His, his well is coming Hello, Keyforge community. <laughs> Such great news. Um, guys, I missed last week, but we have news. And I know not everyone is super excited. Grumpo's over there. But we have VT news that I missed from last week. I'm glad yeah. we didn't record on Thursday, but you guys did it on Friday. We did. And we have whoa that is shipping and people are actually getting shipments and there's preview cards that cheap is excited to see for grim reminders i mean mm, excited might good. be a strong word hey hey ex- there's i'm excited yeah oh, okay i don't know what you're excited for but we'll we'll get there we'll get there something new to complain about what yeah. more can i ask for in life <laughs> that's all uh, she ever really wanted can't we just be content for like one show? Like, no. Hey, I am never satisfied with the status quo. I was pretty happy last week. I don't know if you listened. Yeah, like, yeah, I, we were pretty happy. I, yeah. We were all well, pretty. It, some last well, week's episode hasn't come out yet, so yeah. yes, it has. Oh, mm, that's my. So. That's my. <laughs> you're you're right. It hasn't. Well, well, <laughs> so. <laughs> You're listening. Yeah. Wow. I, I do usually go ahead and, and listen to our episodes when I'm not here, but uh, I guess that I didn't. Not I guess I didn't hit that button, but uh, didn't think I had to. I've never had to before. But um, all right. Well, part two um, of this week or next week. I'm not sure what week we're in now. Uh, but either way, we'll have we... it by the first vault tour, right? Yeah, the you'll have it. Mark? Yeah. Hey, hey, every hey, everything's on. Tra- everything is right on schedule. Okay. Just remember that. <laughs> Uh, All right, but well, what, let, let, let's course. start with our actual usual bit. How is your week, Keyforge, with ABR going? Teams, peeps. I, I just went I, to I, in my match. It was great. I don't like to hear that. You're facing us this week, and um, our team my opponent could use one key. You know, Total. Z, Total? That is, that's breaking, okay? And that is yeah. not appreciated here, man. I it, I got very lucky in that my matchup was against someone running double Martian jo- generosity key abduction. My triad was very perfectly matched to take that down. I had one deck with jar, one deck with double stealth mode, one deck with two control the weekend, two scrambler storms. It uh, was very much in my favor. I simply didn't ban that deck and beat that deck once because triad is simply about identifying your opponent's Achilles heel and making sure yeah. you don't strike that one. Well, do, right? You want to strike the Achilles heel to beat them? No. No. Don't do that. Man, that was... Shout out to Nick. Nick is new for us, and he is very active in our group, so I appreciate him, and I will raise him up. And that is 
that's dirty. He was dude. like that's, super that's nervous, dirty. like before the game. He yeah, even like he's... mentioned that he might be playing slow, and like I actually felt he played fine. Like he, I think he played faster than you. Um, Ooh, wow. Good. Okay, Ooh. this 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 is where we're going. Got it. <laughs> this is good. Uh, uh, speaking right. of, you know what? we can do. We can. I can do the sub match and play you right here on the cast. I'm pretty sure that I could play it slower. We got 45 minutes for this game. Let's let's roll it at 44 minutes and uh, people yeah, start timers for seconds. these games. <laughs> he he will for the for us. I did I did not start a timer against him. I probably would against you, Walk though. Wow. But if you haven't heard news this week, Woe is released. It is getting shipped. Two people Woo-hoo! all yeah, over yeah. the United States. People are getting it. Ewok will get his tomorrow. Um, I don't know well, anybody some else. Some of his tomorrow. Part, part, part of, of his, it. Part of it. Hey, part I, of it. that's that's great. That's like, well, I mean, technically it's early Christmas, but for me this was a Christmas present. So it's kind of late. late. Christmas? It's, it's late Christmas. It's late, but I mean, you could look at is it half full or half empty? We're we're already for Christmas next year, man. I'm I'm good. Yeah. Uh, every okay. So we're all excited for Woe, and with Woe comes the grim reminder spoilers. That's really what we're Which here we for. We will talk about in the future. No, yeah, we're gonna talk about them no, today. No, 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 no. We're not talking about grim reminders today. What are we talking about today? That was JR's show. show today. JR, oh, yeah, what's JR's next show. to talk yeah. about? Yeah, run it. I'll be back. Let me know when you guys are done. Sweet. <laughs> so about time. We'll actually have a yeah. show that you know be. <laughs> Just as messed up as usual, but it might. No, it won't get printed either. It get pushed out because, well, <laughs> Wookie won't press that. So <laughs> yeah, he's like, I need to fix this one. <laughs> yeah, you guys just let me know. Well, when we, you're got, done. we got I thought five you were, people I, listening to us. We will just pander to the five people. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were leaving now, Wookie. I mean, that's I'm already gone, man. All right. Well, you know, we'll probably increase our our listenership now. So probably we're good. <laughs> I've already started ah, a second. I've already started two other shows. I got my Lorcana podcast ready. DLC, <laughs> Lore Corner. Um, yep, Lore Corner, and um, and uh, I, I started a nerd show with uh, one of my other buddies. So, I'm this out. is why our, this is why our show isn't getting pushed out. But hey, we got this. Hey, I'm not. Uh, so edited, Z- I'm not editing either of those shows. He yeah. is. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that, that, that helps gotta, a lot. Much like you guys, I just got to show up. Yeah, that is that is the dream. All right, so Z, you you took down a brother Nick, and sad sad tears. Uh, Draz, sheep, how did you do? My this opponent week? ran so, away out of the country. Duh. So, so you're so you're waiting for yeah. It wasn't I get to play sometime time. this weekend. Yeah. It is a um, it is a bummer, but you know that's where ABR. It's just getting larger and larger, and so it's no my both, my opponent hard. actually is um. I don't know. He flew to some foreign country oh, and he's we'll come flew. back later. He was doing a Drascor. He was going to yep, visit. Yeah, I did. There you yeah, go. Yeah. Okay. I uh, yeah, but we uh, you know, sheep and my team we're doing we're doing decently well. I mean, we've we won these last two weeks. The first two weeks we we were off by just one game, so we are we're very much in the hunt for a playoff spot. So. Um, so I'm I'm feeling overall feeling like we're we're a reasonable spot. You're making me sad, man. Yay, reasonable. <laughs> Yay, reasonable. What are you you're not in the, the bottom team there, are you? Uh, um oh. we won't talk about Bruno. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. We won't talk about Bruno. The, the one winless team. <laughs> we won't talk about Bruno. <laughs> no, uh, no. Hey, we're we're having fun. We're playing Keyforge, and I think that's an important aspect. Um, so Wookie, how much Keyforge did you play this week? I'm not here. I went ahead and played. <laughs> um, how much Keyforge did I play this week? I played yeah. a couple games with uh my son and a couple games with my daughter. Nice. What, what, did, nice. what did you play? Well, like what sets? Keyforge. Well, what sets? Bro? Oh, um, I think you know. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't remember. Uh, we went into much like Dan has his box of uh, box of shame. We went into the box of shame and just took two whatever was open and played them. Is that the one with the toenail clippers in it? That's the toenail right. clipper box. That's the one. Oh, nice. Yep. We went into the box of shame and just played whatever was there. That that means Wookie's played more Keyforge than I have. Well, I mean, you were busy vacationing or something. Well, you you, no. you went out into like nature. I did. Yeah, not much Keyforge in nature. Well, this is what I've heard. 
Yeah, and I didn't really, uh, I didn't play when, when I was on family vacation either. Um, I did stop into a game store in Dublin. Ooh. Um, and uh, I asked them if they had any Keyforge. Did they? And uh, they did not. He said not anymore. Okay. So, so that's they positive. had it at some point. Um, he was kind of busy. So like there was actually, it was actually a bunch of people there, which it was like the middle of a day on like a Tuesday. I was like, it's kind of busy in here. Um, so there were a bunch of guys standing around like talking about Warhammer. So mm. I, I didn't, uh, you I are didn't extraordinarily end up close. A conversation. You're extraordinarily close to the UK and Warhammer is yeah. king out there. So yeah, it is a so, thing that exists. Yeah. Um, so I didn't end up, uh, chatting them up, but, uh, the star, you know, star was, was, uh, had a decent, not great, but a decent board game. Uh, I mean, it, it was a fine board game collection. That's what, that's what I mean to say. It was fine. It was okay. Yeah. It was fine. Yeah. It had, had a number of good titles. It wasn't like a massive, uh, collection, but then I had, you know, a decent gaming area for a city. So, uh, so it seemed like a cool enough store. Yeah. All right. Time to get into Vault Tour reactions, right? We got the Vault Tour schedule, which me and Z already talked about. Um, mm -hmm. one, I'm one, booked up. I'm ready to go, man. Yeah. One Heck is yeah. Uh, one is gonna be in Philly. Yay! That's a, is that the seventh through the ninth? I don't have the dates. Yeah. Up so on my Jill, screen. I, I got it. So 2023 initial U.S. Vault mm -hmm. Tour locations. I like that it says initial because we were expecting five. It says more to be announced. Mm -hmm. But July 7th through 9th at Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at Delta Hotels by Marriott Philadelphia Airport. So July 7th through 9th. Yep. Uh -huh. We'll all be staying at Jurassic Course. Yeah. You guys I, are... I'm, I am booked with yeah. Hotel Jurassic Course. Hotel Jurassic Course. Yep. He's got a spot. Are you, are you coming, Wookie? The, I, I'm probably... No. 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 <laughs> no. No. Unfortunately, that weekend is not a good weekend for me. Mm. So here's the thing about all the dates they picked. I feel like they had my personal calendar. <laughs> oh, um, is that why? Is well, that why they asked me for that? And I was like, oh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. So the 7th <laughs> or 9th is, is no bueno for me. <laughs> um, That is, a, I have family coming in that weekend. Uh, family mm. from Iowa. And then what's the next one, JR? The next one we have is July 14th through 16th mm. at Roseville, Minnesota at Game Center, Roseville. The so at, very at, next weekend. At, yeah. Right. So back to back, that's a little rough for some people. But I, I feel like these were these were designed to get a lot. Our like their original game plan was to have all the vault tours done in what a month or two. Yeah, yeah. two months. <clears throat> right. Yeah. So I feel like the the game plan was always like every other week for U.S. and then every other week international. I feel like that was the game plan. I don't know. Yeah, that that's that's sort of what they had hinted, right? Which I, um, wouldn't have been my first choice, and no. it is going to be but, hard. But for I me feel to like they're they yeah. it wasn't designed like the old vault tours were. Like the old vault tours right. were more designed to like, oh, it's a mass gathering once a month, or once every other month. It was it once a month. It was once a month, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. These were more designed to be like this is vault tour season. Right, you got eight weeks to have vault tours, and then they're then they're, we move on to the next phase. But either way, um, ask me what happened July fourteenth, two thousand and ten. What happened July fourteenth, two thousand and ten? We, me and my wife, welcomed a new baby girl into the world. That would be Aww. so. So uh, the fourteenth to the sixteenth, no bueno for me because yeah. that will be my daughter's birthday. Yep. And then what's the next yep. one, Jr? September 15th through the 17th, Dallas, Texas at Embassy Suites by Hilton Dallas Park Central. So ask me what happened on September 17th of 2008. What happened on September 17th uh, of 2008? The was born. No, I had my firstborn son. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. So little that Wookie. weekend will also, yeah, little, little Wookie. So that Wookie weekend's Junior. also a no bueno. So it was like, like wow. It's to the event. Huh? Bring them to the event. 
I that's can't. totally what they want. Uh, yeah, that's totally what my daughter. Birthday. My daughter definitely doesn't want to hang out with all her friends on her birthday. Instead, she would rather go play KeyForge in Roseville, Minnesota. And she has friends. What she oh, yes. for? Her. That is well, what she needs to do for her birthday. Didn't you just say that you guys are playing KeyForge? We were playing KeyForge, yes, but she she this is her birthday. I mean, we've had this planned for some time. This isn't yeah. just going to be a have the friends over at home. This is. This is actually like a big birthday. We're having it at the Garcade. Oh. Uh, for those of you who are having it at the Garcade. Ooh. Which is a, it's a big arcade. Like they have like, I don't know, like 2000 or so um, old school arcade machines and video yeah, games to play. Local so. area. That's like a garage arcade there. Sweet. Yeah. You've, you've <laughs> seen the Garcade. It's right yeah. down the old. It's, it's right, right down, down the street from the old from the, TK. Yeah. From old TK. Uh, so. By the way, TK has is moving to. They have moved into a new spot. Yeah, again. And then they sold all their KeyForge. Yes. Or listed um, it all in buy sell trade. Yeah, yeah all, I don't all know who the that OP, is. All of the all, OP. the all the old old P, which I tried to buy that stuff from him so many times. So I, I will take this side tangent. Um, I, I was tore on this. Uh, the OP, <laughs> knowing that it wasn't given out. Um, when we were desperately trying to build our scene, we needed right. anything to be able to give out. That hurts a lot. Right. Um, to see that it's then being sold uh, was a little frustrating, but it was given to someone who is struggling with some really big health issues. And it was given to her in order to go ahead and try and get money to cover some of her medical bills. Now, that's the story. I have I to believe to people. That's I have to believe story. people that Wookiee. Um, and so as a result, because I don't, I'm going to, I'm not going to That, gonna that at least makes me feel a little better, but, yeah. it, all, but all of those are promos that we have a ton of. We don't need right. anything there. True. So true. It just no, would have yeah, been, the, it would have been, been great three years ago. The OP was bad, but there was a bunch of gamma decks, which also I think are all bad. Yeah, Probably. Right. I can't imagine any of them are any good. There was gamma decks in there. Yes. The only thing I wanted was actually the deck that said TK, because when he first got his gamma decks, we got um, they had an well, issue with the gamma decks that it yeah. didn't say TK game store. It just said a generals yeah. like. And so he was waiting on the TK games. And as that was our local, I would have liked to have had a gamma deck with the TK store name. But yeah, meh, meh. This is unfortunately, right, right. I don't know if he's listening. Probably not, I would guess. So this is kind of one of the reasons we kind of stopped supporting. So, um, yeah, so, so, so unfortunately. So he, here's my question, Wookie. Yeah. The next bullet point says more to be announced. Yes. So what, what do you have listed for the more to be announced that would be a conflict? Because GG could still, yeah, GG could still be working on it. We got to make I mean, sure that. Yeah. You should let him you know. Tell him when you're else. busy. I should I should tell them what weekends I'm busy so that way they yeah, can. Yeah, I mean well, that's that's what I'm I'm putting out here. I'm getting Well, you let's the let's take let's take a look. Um after September we got August birthday. That's that's Tiny Livy. Um that's going to probably be that last weekend in August. Well, we're in September, so I think that they're looking after September is my right. guess. Right. Oh, that's true. That's true. Okay, September, I then think, we get into October. I, I I there could be an August Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there could be an August, but that last yeah, Seattle. So, well, but you have Gen, you have Gen Con there too, right? October. I mean, October is always yeah, a rough month. August here. is literally the like Gen Con's the first week of like weekend of August, like the yes. second or whatever. Yes. So you still have that entire month that would conflict with nothing else to do. Well, the only other thing they'd be looking at is really October. No, I mean, if we're looking at, I mean, August, yes, yeah, but then you got October, like October, but then November you've got another celebration, right? Yes. You have, yeah, well, then, no, that's Worlds. You have to that's do it all world. before November. Right. So, I mean, October October is just a rough, rough month in general. I got a lot going on that month. Um, we got cheer. I think gets... it would be hard to do October because then those are people, like, if they get Worlds invites, they would not have already booked. Yep. For I November. Like, right. I think October is too far. I th I'm thinking you're going to look at, if they announce two more dates, I expect them to be in August. In September, August August is a rough month with with uh, with the tiny's birthday. Um, September born uh, every day in August. No, she wasn't. She was born at, uh, <laughs> August. I mean, Wookie's gonna give us an excuse for every day. Of August twenty third, she was born. So that would be what that last weekend, July August. Yeah, so you're looking at the twenty fifth through the twenty seventh, and more than likely well, be just, unavailable. 
while well, you're you con- need to take notes from Dan and me, you need to overcome obstacles to get the key for events yeah. with like a grounding in fanaticism and in rational, irrational logic. Yeah. And well, that is how you well, make it to key for events. Well, you, I would, you, you, you have to also remember that I am a one income home. So, I mean, that's that's always that's a problem where the me. fanaticism and irrational logic come into play. Yeah, I, if I could find that <laughs> irrational logic, I would love it. But I have yet to find it. So. Well, I got lots of logic. The, the only other thing would be anything that has to do with work, because obviously I'm going to. And I work retail, so that means weekends are part of that. But I, I anything that has to do with that, which I don't have all, you know, I don't know. A lot of the work stuff comes up maybe a week, if I'm lucky, two weeks in advance. Well, I'm going to say on a different note, because there's still a lot to unpack from even this announcing the three first vaults. I'm excited that we got dates. I'm excited that um, there's Dan an will be there. Sheep, sheep will be there. Draft score yep. will probably be at one, maybe two. Well, and oh. Sheep and I actually got together on Tuesday. While we didn't play, Sheep, what did we do on Tuesday when we got together? Drank beer. We did do that. Perfect. That, that was delicious. And booked flights yes, and we hotels. Sp- we spent money. <laughs> so we, we, we are going. Um, in fact, that September Switch. 15th to Dallas... That's September 15th to Dallas is nice. booked, and that is the first flight for Keyforge for Ewok here. So there's the actual investment versus just driving, which is that next level up. And I will say this is actually the first day that I can technically, well, I'm taking it a, a day early, but I'm, I'm not supposed to take off vacation the first two weeks um, with the kids. And this would be the Friday of that. And uh, we're going to take off because we're going to Keyforge, boys. Alliance. Nice. So that is there. I will say that I will also be in Roseville, um, July 14th or 16th. That is uh, going to happen. Philly, Philly just threw another curveball since uh, Sheep and I saw that on Tuesday. It has gone up again in flight costs, but that is the one where um, I need a buddy to go and fly with Sheep. But Sheep, Sheep's run out of. PTO time, so I have to see. I may be coming. I have not been to Philly before, Draz, and I may just come out by myself, Mm -hmm. and then I get to hang out with everyone there. Just drive it. You could. Uh, I mean, that's what I did when I came to uh, to your neck of the woods. I drove. It was a long drive. I can totally drive it. Um, The issue that I have is the week after because we're turning around. It's a long drive coming out, a long drive coming back, and then I'm going up to Roseville. Um, And so I still see the price point for me as being a flight. Um, That's the short answer. So we'll see. That has not been booked yet, but it does look like those those three are very, very, very doable. Um, If you're realistic, I'm going to Gen Con as well. But if if we're realistically looking at August, um, that would be out at the start of school. Um, I just don't I can't take off um, <laughs> in that time period. That's, that's yeah, I mean, that, that would also be a problem for me because start of school is all even for non teachers. Any parent is very, very busy at the start of school. Mm. Maybe this say, is the um, blessing yeah. of one easy kid. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if I only had one, that'd be great, but. I mean, there happens to be three. There's three of them. If I was smart, I will carry. I will carry the AC torch for all of us. Thank you. We appreciate it. Uh, I don't. Hey, I'm going. If I make Philly, I don't think I would be able to make any other events this year. Ooh. And then Philly feels this year the whole year. Well, he's saying outside of Roseville and Dallas. Oh, we're already Roseville, booked, we're already Dallas. Got it, got it. And got it. then again, because Worlds is in Minnesota, assuming the schedule isn't anything different than these, I should be able to do that. But yeah, if they had extra events, it's going to be tough. Uh, Cause they're all, they're all a minimum of one day off work. Yep. Really by the time you travel. Yeah. So that, that makes them tough to do. And I think with well, that, it's a perfect timing on what, what is, the vaults going what does it actually look like and so it kind of goes into it i was going to say you and it is perfect timing because the biggest thing right now is going to be what are the formats 
Yeah. So uh, coming from, oh goodness, what was this? Announcing the first Vault Tour locations, $10,000 price pool per event. And this was uh, keyforging.com. Uh, May 5th, you can see Ghost Galaxy is pleased to announce the first batch of cities for the 2023 U.S. Vault Tours. Each stop will consist of three days of competition. So that's why Sheep's talking. You're looking Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And fun to unlock the secrets and power of the vaults and cash prizes to winners. Each vault tour stops will feature both an Archon and Alliance tournament with the top four finishers in each tournament receiving cash prizes and the top two finishers in each tournament qualifying for a first round buy in the 2023 Keyforge World Championship Tournament held at Keyforge Celebration 2023 in Roseville, Minnesota on November 10th through 12th. What do you guys think of that news? There's a couple switches from what we had initially planned. Saying, did did you OP. go? Yeah, but did you go into the formats? Did you say the formats? Because yeah, there's Alliance there, 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 and Archon. Yeah, there's a I star understand. there. Note that Archon and Alliance tournaments will be held simultaneously, so players will need to decide which one to enter prior to the tournament. Right. So here's my issue. That's a lot of money to for me not to even stand a prayer. Yep. What do you mean? What do you? What well, I okay? I agree with you, Wookie. So you have I, a better shot than me, Sheep. Just shut it over there. Sheep I has a shot. I was agreeing with Wookie. Doesn't have a shot. Right. Not that <laughs> I don't. Have oh, a shot. Just, okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I don't. Wait, I don't <laughs> why are we bashing Wookie's play skills here? Like, what's going? No, on? it's not about his play it's skills. It's not about it's my about play skills. It, it's about yeah. my deck collection. Like, I don't have a fraud in my collection. I don't have a. Any but of you these have. decks? Yeah, I, could, I, I, I could have, but I, we... no, he couldn't have. <laughs> Again, it's about <laughs> irrational logic and fanaticism. That is how you win a keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I have more of that, so he couldn't have had a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, I thought the AC team was going in on the deck. Then it just turns out Dan just went rogue and just in for himself. He well, is that's at, because we, I spent we, we all the AC bitch. dollars. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we ran out of AC dollars, so I had to go get, you know. Right, so. Porn dollars. Porn, porn dollars. See, porn, it, porn dollars. Oh, I thought you said porn dollars. I was like, you started. Oh, well, you, I don't know where his dollars come from. Did you start on OnlyFans and tell no one? Like, what? I guess I don't know. Only my fans. But. Okay, so like let's let's be honest. Who really has shots at this? Who who uh, who has a decks? Lot of people. That, how, there are a lot of people who have decks. A lot. How yeah. many? Like let's let's be honest. Uh, okay, forty. You think it's that many? You think forty people? Mm-hmm. At least. I was gonna say twenty five tops. Now, because there are multiple events and they're all over. I, I'm not oh, saying you're, 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 those you're talking... 40 people are showing up to each event. They're going to show up to one. So like 10 at any particular event. Right. But I'm I'm saying like, let's just say all the key forge in, in the U S right. Let's say all the people are showing up. All the top decks that are, that are out there are going to show up to this event. Right. How many people uh-huh. actually have, you, you think there's 40 players that are going to have top no, decks if, out there. If we're saying all, it's higher than that. You think it's higher? Uh-huh. I think you're smoking something. I, I literally I think, think it's I 25 tops. I think you tops. undervalue how much matchup matters. No, there, I there's, don't think I do. There still is a paper, rock, scissors. There sure. are some decks that have limited counters that are there, but there are and still it, counters. And, and, it, and it being it. best of one for most of most of the tournament is is a big deal. It is. Until yeah. the finals? Until the finals, right. I, I just I think I think you're I think forty is being very generous. I don't think it's that high. Okay. Well you you can think different than me, that's fine. Okay. Fair. I, I, I was gonna say twenty five tops. But I don't there I don't There are own... more than twenty five decks. Are you saying forty decks? Twenty five decks or forty and twenty five people. Those yeah, like maybe we're talking the same thing but two different things. things. Because like X Ray owns how many of X, the decks? X Ray owns like five. Z owns like four. 
Nova owns three. You know what I mean? Like that. That's what I'm saying. Like how many players are actually? Um, I mean, Dan owns one. There are. Dan I owns mean, more like, than one, but there no. are a no. lot of decks that I see oh, sorry. and one? I know can win. There, there are a lot of them now. They are controlled in a, in the fairly tight group. Like yes. the number is still maybe a hundred. So, so how many, how how many players? You're saying forty players uh, that are active with really top end decks. I don't, I don't know. Um, I mean, like 40. when you look at the U.S., if you were to use ABR as a thing, like on the teams. Half of each team players have real Archon decks. No, is that a, maybe I'm a little high there? A third mm. of players have real Archon decks. Mm, I think you're still a little high, but that's I fine. definitely don't think I'm as high at saying a third of the players on each team have a real Archon deck. A third of the play. Wait, how many players are on a team again? Is it ten or twelve now? Ten. Yeah, 10. eleven this season. Eleven, eleven, 11 this 11. season. So how many? So two players per team. Three to four players per Three team. Three to four players per team. Probably have a real archon deck. And how many teams are out there? Eight. Yeah, eight Question teams this season. Okay, so my four our twenty five to forty count is right on with that. But no, I ten. mean, ABR ten. doesn't have every US every player, player on. True, but I mean, aren't there a size? Isn't there a sizable amount of foreign players too? Yeah, like a fourth of ABR is probably foreign at this right. point. Right. So I mean, I, I'm assuming a lot of foreign players aren't going to show up to these. I'm saying no. just US would, would, yeah, would be my assumption. That's true. So I don't know. Either so way, is, isn't this what we want? Is we want people to feel that anyone still has a shot to be able to win this? I would say yes. Isn't that I mean, good for the game? See, well, see you here's sealed. I see, a major event I see, I see both sides of the argument, oh, right? Because if, dead, sir. Cause if yes. yeah, sealed's yeah. dead. We need, I, and I'm crying. I'm crying. Well, because the thing I, is, like, okay, so you make it into sealed, right? So you make it, you make your world's appearance with a sealed. No, but, you know, no, no. We we understand what you're saying, and then you go and what do you take into worlds? Right. What do you take the worlds? Because the deck right. you want it sealed with, duh. Yeah. So, so so here's here's where I've gotten to. Draz, I'm with you in that I want to see sealed, but I think sealed's gonna show up as side events. That's that's where my my conjecture is gonna come in. I will go ahead and well, it's gonna be more say, than a side event, but I, yeah, I mean I, be, I'm just saying I'm saying that's be a fun Friday thing, but it like correct. I don't know. Like I but when you're looking alliance a fun or Archon, Friday thing is called a side event. But if we're I, looking if we're looking at Archon or Alliance, those are more it's a different skill set i wouldn't say more skill testing but it's a different skill set than sealed yep. and so in this regard if they're putting up money which is what the vault tour here i mean they're they're announcing a ten thousand dollar prize pool fifty thousand dollars they have money that's there for worlds i can see where they want it to be skill testing and focused um i'm sad because i do think that there's skill testing for sealed it's a different set of skills I but they like definitely to... they've definitely passed the, they've paved this way for it to be Archon and Alliance in that skill set. I still think Thank that you. I still would like to see a world's format where it is you have to go into all three. I think that it's possible in the future. I just think this year maybe I'm happy this year, that we maybe have this OP. Year you know what I mean? Right. Like OP. Like give GG. Maybe next year we can start to see something a little bit better. They do listen and they've adjusted as we've gone through. Um, as we've progressed, I think someone just posted that uh, GG just celebrated their one year after purchasing the game. Um, that that came out earlier this week, if I'm correct. And so there has been a lot of movement from GG across the year. I. I think that their timeline for getting woe out was it just didn't happen, but we have events. Now we have a successful future to look forward to. And I do think OP in 2024 is going to be even that much better. And I'm excited for 2023 OP again, people are amazing. We have events. We're going to have a blast. Yes. I'm excited to play in the vaults. I, I share the, uh, Draz's feelings about not having sealed. Um, I think that was where I met like a lot of the people at big events that were like coming in. Um, 
back when the game was newer. Uh, I don't think the same people would have come in back then had it not been sealed. Um, we already know we're going to have two world champions like for Archon and Alliance. Like, I really don't see why we couldn't have just had all three run concurrently the whole way through. Like, why not have have all have, three, have, see, have, a, have, have a all three for... run at the same time? You have to pick. We we are already okay. Like we saw that at KFC. Everyone understands here in this current model that Archon Alliance, you have to pick one. But like give the people that want the sealed experience, like Draskor would pick sealed every single time. And like I think a lot of people I might would not have sealed. bought a fancy deck if I knew sealed was always gonna yeah, be a choice. She might be playing sealed. Like you wouldn't have spent, you know. That so, you access that irrational logic and fanaticism to buy a deck. <laughs> okay, I'm like, hold, hold, hold on. I, I got a question. We have a time out for a second. Uh, we're running Archon and Alliance at the same time. So what you're actually hypothesizing is that we would run sealed Archon and Alliance. Do you think that they would have enough staff in order to support all three? Or well, the thing is, like, as you add events, like our player pool is so small right now. Yeah. Like you're not actually adding the need for that much more people. Like we've seen them, we've run them. Um, basically, it's just do you have enough people out there that are willing to judge that you can put it as like ahead of each event? Because as the events get smaller, they become much more manageable for that head judge, especially since most of it's all going to be run with software now um, that should be more accessible since they're building said software. So if the software is cumbersome, it is entirely their fault. Um, so then, like, would would the mon the monetary amount or the monetary support be split as well into three groups? Well, yeah, so you're it would choosing be three things. Like I, I, like, well, I know right, they're not going to change it now. But there's in the ten, future, but there's ten I would like for to see... Archon because there's ten for Archon and ten for Alliance. So if no, you base no, 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 it, there's it is ten. Oh, oh, no, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yes, yes, yes. You're right. I retract. Please don't murder me. Weird thing. Or they could have like three for each event and one thousand for whatever that thing on Friday is. Uh, well, or you what? could just do three hundred. Or I'm sorry, three hundred, three thousand three hundred thirty-three dollars. <laughs> that we, is I, an I don't even we'll need. See. Don't even need dollars for sealed. Just uh, well, yeah, like yeah. I know this is what we got this season, but like if this is reviewed at the end of like you know I'm at the board table, what could we do better? How can we get more people to these events? Um, sealed, sealed brings people to vaults. They were the most attended U.S. vaults here. Um, I think that is what I would like to see in the future. And we would just have three world champions. You'd have one for each of the things, and I think that's fine. Um, yeah, like actually taking what Keyforge was probably strongest at and and accentuating that. Oh, mm -hmm. this is crazy. No, let's do something Keyforge was not designed for and put a bunch of investment into. Alliance, where the game is. There will all be always be people that love work. love that too, though. But that's the thing; they could be run at the same time. Someone over there playing Alliance has no impact on my psyche and enjoyment playing Archon at my table. That is fine. We can all coexist and be happy together, sheep. It's okay. It's not because let sheep's, it go. Sheep is bothered by Alliance players. He sh Just he sh like if we added sealed well, as a he third sh one, he shiver. We could he shivers at even the idea of breaking apart three decks. Wookie would have somewhere to play if we had a sealed table, and Draskor ha has a spot in Archon or Alliance, and he will do well in either one. But he would much prefer that seat at that sealed table. You know, I do. I, like so. I've said on this cast before that like I've I've never really bought a deck more than. 30 ish dollars, right? Like, I don't really spend much money on an individual deck. Now, I've bought tons of sealed. Um, I don't know. Does this mean I should think about buying a real deck? I, I don't know. I'm yeah, it unsure. Depends. It depends. Because, yes, <laughs> it says, depends. Yes. Like, well, stop, no, it's not buying my decks. Again, as it depends, <laughs> right? Is this, is this GG giving us the flag that, hey, sealed isn't going to be a thing anymore? This is not something we're going to support anymore. I think that'd be silly. On their part, well, they have to do it for the stores, right? Because seal is what sells. Who yeah, cares about the stores? stores. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. But even if it's at the stores, we're not talking about it until 2024, right? Like right. that's yeah. we won't see store tournament stuff until 2024. But, we know this is what we have all the way through this in, in year. It is Archon and Alliance. So, like, I am campaigning for the far future. Sealed is basically put on the back burner at the top level this year. Like that is what we're here. Yep. For. Is but I mean, it not, so it's yeah, not even at a You need store to buy level. a deck if you want to compete in 2023 at the top when of the you're, war. Just borrow mine. 
Well, yeah. not only that, like, <laughs> is it, it, is there a star level if there isn't a vault level? Right? Yes, like, if, I I, mean, if I'm yes. telling, like, there yes, is, there right? But is it going to be as... Can robust. there be? Yes, that's there the thing. Be like one... most of my, I like I had one of the largest local communities there was in the country before everything died. Almost all of those people did not go to vaults, yeah, other than as... the one that happened to show up in Texas. So these are actually mutually exclusive things. There is a store level without vault. Okay. Yeah, there just most is. of the people who played with us never went to a vault. Yeah, it's true. I would I would argue this vault tour schedule that we see for this year is really for the players like us guys. I think this was more for us. And that's why we're not seeing the was this shot also. out there and it was a like, quit your bitching. Well, but but picture like it, it helps and you have the deck. So okay, we were asking, we want to play, we want to play. Here you go, guys. And I also think the other side is product has been an issue to this point. So by not putting sealed this year, but hopefully for next year, they can have product that they're more in control of. It's in the stores. It's there for any vault tour Helper. So pitcher, if if Woe gets really, really popular, we don't know when it's coming out to retail. I, I didn't actually factor so, that in. I, I did not factor in availability of product being a reason that we're not seeing top in seed. I guess that could be a thing. It seems weird since they print all the stuff in house. Um, well, but but pitcher, what we had to do for live, I mean, we're not GG, but we had no. to source that, and right now. I guess it doesn't say who's running the events. So maybe that's the next question that we would need to know. Who's running the events? Because if it's GG, GG well, is running the events. I was going to say, it's, it, it, from the sounds of it, it does sound like GG. It sounds like GG is running the events, even yeah. from what's going on in our Discord, which if you haven't joined our Discord, join our Discord. Um, I mean, Jeremy kind of even hinted that it's, it's going to be GG. Yeah, it's all him. Baby. It's Jeremy. These are this is vault tours by Jeremy. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but I mean, that's the way they want to do it. So it is what uh, it is. I mean, I think it makes sense, right? Like, I, I mean, I think it makes sense. The company yeah. should invest their time, and money, in helping build the game so it can sell lots of stuff. That mm-hmm. makes sense. Yep. All right. I mean, we, we already decided, right? Jeremy's anyway. just gonna get a van. Keyforge, yeah, yeah. driver around the country, drive around the country, yeah. hosting the yeah. after event. Like We're he's just... gonna have like a trailer behind him. He's gonna have all the mm-hmm. vault shit back there. He's gonna be like, I know, I know we, I know we <laughs> joked about this, but that does seem more and more likely. <laughs> you know, like, we'll drive down the have... road. Kids will pump their arms. It'll blow on the that's... horn. You know, it'll be great. So, like <laughs> from the tenth to the thirteenth, that's what Jeremy's gonna be. He's gonna be driving from Philadelphia to Roseville, Minnesota. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. if it. <laughs> Jeremy, if that's the Maybe case, ride. you're going right yeah. by my house. We can yeah, make this work. Go. I'll ride in, you know, the GG Wiener Mobile. We're good. <laughs> the GG. Oh my God, I need to see this. The GG Wiener Mobile. What is that? Oh, oh, I, need, I need to. I'm just saying. What do you What do you think he drives? A, a Honda Fit or something? So it's gonna be. A... Yeah. No, I think uh, maybe he's got a Vanagon. And it'll be the Voltagon. Oh. I would guess like a Prius. He seems like like a Prius. A Prius guy. A Prius. Maybe. Maybe. Smart car? Watch him draw it out. <laughs> oh, smart <laughs> car. Smart car. <laughs> oh, you go. What are the chances he drives uh, an F-150? Oh, my gosh. Uh, no, he's I not, don't, I don't think he's from Texas. He's no, he's from Wisconsin, so an F-150 is... Uh, oh, okay, okay. okay. Definitely a thing. Yeah, that's a thing. Could be. Well, y'all mentioned you're going like sheep. What do you, So you're going to some like a handful of vaults. It's great. What are you going to... What, uh, what's your uh, format? Oh, uh, what? Are you serious? There's there's choices? Yeah, there's there's two choices. It's a binary option for now. No, I I only saw one. Okay. so I saw you going... could go and play Keyforge, or you could do so some you... other bullcrap. So you're going to take... That is not uh, Keyforge. You could take Pink Fraud and go play in Alliance and see how you do it. <laughs> so it, you you are correct because in all honesty when i play fraud online to practice it i often play it yeah, in yeah. alliance matches just to see yeah well, well you because to, that's you, the, you just, bec- you just need a real opponent yeah well and i don't feel bad playing fraud against alliance decks where they when i just play against anything more. average casual i'm like eek yeah be like what i did that weekend when i was on average 
Happy day for 30 wins. Let's go. Two days. <laughs> um, okay, so real question then. JR, uh, looks like you're making two by my count, was it? Right Dallas now, the, th- the third Philly is, is, a, is a question mark, but uh, it is leaning towards a more positive. You, uh, you an Archon, or are you going to go to the dark side? We are talking strategy now. He will be in second number. <laughs> Ouch. With, with the rest of us. Ouch. With slum, um, slumming it with, like, like a reasonable adult. And Draz? Sealed is not an option. Draz, yeah. what are you going to play? Well, I'll definitely Archon. So yeah, All no, right, there we there's go. There's no such thing as Alliance in my mind. There is still alliance in my mind, and I know what happened Tuesday when, when Sheep and I talked about this, but it is not completely ruled out for me. I mean, I, I can see your justification. You're what? like, I can't. I mean, my assumption is the vaults are probably going to be smaller than celebrations. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yeah. So, say 80 people coming. So, it's going to be a 50 30. A sixty twenty split? Mm-hmm. I was Maybe say, you might. You might. Well, have we did the math. Shot. Y'all weren't here. We did the math last at KFC. Okay. It was actually forty percent of the the field was in alliance. So if okay. we're looking yes, at so sixty right. people, I mean, you're looking at what twenty four or thirty six. So, but he, here's what was really odd. This was well known for celebration as being a trial, and there were a number of individuals who purposely went out of their way to try alliance there, and they voiced that and said, "I'm trying it to either break or to like ha- like to give feedback." But yeah, they but said they, that's they, not they, how it looks in the numbers. But they yeah. said that they would. But they said they would never play that again. So I don't think those numbers are realistic. People say stupid things online all the time. Though, well, look, let's say, so let's oh, this wasn't online. Week. This is even just talking to people. So, <laughs> um, that's true. If if you're like talking to them in person, that's always a little bit more real than fools writing stuff in Discord with the confidence of a eight year old American. Um, <laughs> so yes, it may be easier to top cut alliance. Um, I mean, although... like twenty four people walking into alliance, like. You just it's need to win what? Throw. Four games? You're in? Three? Four? Like it's gonna cut the field super quick. Yes. Um so yeah, I think that's just four wins and you make if that's only twenty four people. So like that would be a factor in the keyforge calculus that you would need to consider if you're having See, but to this, pick. this I mean, is also assuming there this is also assuming there's gonna be seventy people. I think you might be looking at a smaller field. We said I used the number at sixty. Like oh, did you? Okay. I thought small, you said yeah. 70. Yeah. I, 60 I st- people gives you, I still if think you have 60. the same split, 24 people playing a line. I still think 60 might be generous with how late they came in. Those regions are super populated. We did this when they we did are, the yeah, and, and maybe you're right, because there's, like probably a, there's probably a ton of people who are like, hey, it's in my town. I might as well go. Yeah, you're probably yeah. right. You're probably like right. those population centers are massive, and then you've got the idiots like me that are going to spend the money to go wherever. Like, well, but six, that's I, I think it's hard to get under 60. I would be surprised. If it I got don't much think it's as hard 60. as you think because I think the, I think the biggest thing right now is your it, it's that's July, man. That's the weekend. Uh-huh. That's that's literally the weekend right after that's Fourth, um, of, July. Fourth of July weekend. So you have a lot, a of, lot people. of people just use their vacation to go somewhere for the fourth, or or yeah, or they're that. either getting off of vacation, or a lot of people do because it's on a Tuesday. It's a weird Fourth of July Tuesday, so we'll a lot of people will do it the next like like the people that are coming to town to come visit us. That this is their Fourth of July weekend, right? So they're taking the time off later yeah. in the week to come do something. Like I, I don't it is. 60 like is it tough to get under 60 i think it's real yes for for that area you were talking about like new england like you're going to hit 60 we have it that's actually what there's a lot within six hours of driving of yeah yeah i'm not saying it's wrong philadelphia is a well-chosen place i hate walking around the city because i feel like i'm gonna die but so i'm not gonna do that (laughs) but (laughs) But, yeah, well, if the, you're not careful in Philly, you might. This is coming from a guy who lives in Texas, and he's afraid of Philly. 
So, the, so there's a couple things that I think are really important, and I want to kind of pause here because what jumped out at me, none of these are attached to a con. If you yeah. look, Philly, it's Delta Hotels by Marriott, the Game Center in Minnesota, and then Embassy Suites. So you don't have like the cons that are going to carry people who are already there into your space. You have gamers who are coming out explicitly for Keyforge. I do think that the week after 4th of July, with this late in the year, people have 4th of July plans. So I think that will potentially lower the amount of individuals who are coming out. But I think this is also why it's important for us to pull those locals and encourage them and have them come out. We want to see um, individuals who are close, hey, come on out. Um, and I want everyone to feel like they have a chance. I do think the lack of sealed as a primary event being announced isn't going to draw as many individuals. And so that that those are the different thoughts that keep going through my head. But I think it's very interesting. These are all at non-con locations i like that they're not at a con location that means it's i mean it's already what i mean drascore is posting uh posting flight details in the chat here i mean you're looking at what 390 was you got a couple of, is this two different ones three at 390 or this just yeah i'm trying one? to get cheap here yeah um uh, we're actually looking at midway and it's yeah we're looking at midway and it's flying actually spirit under. it was it was three no it was 314 on american that american, we were looking at it bounced american. up to 340 Dude, um and that's a super cheap Mine that's, way a direct, more than that. that's a direct flight yeah yeah the one problem with the philly, 314. yeah the one the one problem with the philly airport hotel is that it's near absolutely nothing um you have to drive to get anywhere is the problem well because it's all the way everywhere don't need course, to go anywhere you're playing don't need to go anywhere you're playing key fours that See, was this this the is, this experience. Is cheap drive man just so don't let cheap drive disagree z like i'm i'm disappointed about going to philly because i'm gonna have to fly in friday and fly out sunday night and not be able to have drascore experience in the home of drascore and this sounds too depressing to want to think about I show up to play the game. You know this. So no, no, I like to hang out and do things too. Z, I do uh, hang out with the people while I'm playing keyboard. Yeah, but you don't do anything afterward. You just go right back to the hotel and go to bed. I keep playing keyboards. This is probably bed, why. And then he's I wake successful. up and I play more keyboards. Like that's the point of what we do. I understand, but also the point of what we do. I don't is think you do. Why don't we do the same? I think our priorities are just different. Again, you need to invest in that fanaticism. Yeah. <laughs> I already invested in the fanaticism. I run a show weekly about it. What I would like to see is a nice deck that uh, is better than what I have available. That That's what I'm looking for. So all of our beautiful listeners, please. You walk, there are so many decks better than what you have. Ooh. Okay, I. It's not even a, just a matter of better than what I have, but I do have criteria Z. <laughs> okay. Just bring my five heart of the forest deck. That no. That only exists in your mind. No, no, it's, it's gonna. I mean, exist. If you're playing alliance, I cannot help you. But if you're not playing alliance, I'm sure we could work something out. All right. Moving forward. What do we got next on the agenda? Let's see. We did the vault tours. We did Gen Con. We did the Woe. Are we going to get into the spoilers, or are we not uh, interested in spoilers? We want to wait to uh, see what comes no, out more no, at this point. No, it's no, spo- be next no, week, right? yeah, no, no spoilers. Only spoilers. If there's any more splash attack, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna splash attack fireballs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I would, I, I would like to watch. Is that fair to say? Yeah. We I'm did have a lot impressive. of people ask us about like vaults are coming back. Like, what does it mean to pay a prayer and pack for vaults and stuff? I, I get, think that we is could definitely do an episode on uh, prepping for a vault because I mean it is. We did that. Go to the archives. We could do uh, it again. I mean, there's lots of new okay. players, lots of new people. I mean, just because we good, did it, get a good water bottle. That's the, our number one tip. That is a yes. fantastic tip. I'm not going to Does the fact that it's bottle. not Swiss change anything? Because, like, a lot of, like, what our tips were is because it was guaranteed to be six rounds. Like, like it's not even guaranteed to be more than four I, rounds anymore. I, 
Well, like, but uh, I mean, it can be. I think it I, can be a hell of a lot. If you I, remember, I like if, in double limb, if you lose game one, you are going to be playing a long time. Yeah. So, and those yeah, snacks might become more route. important than ever. Yeah. Yeah. The water uh, and the snacks. The water and the snacks might become more important than ever. I mean, if we're looking at advice for next season, I would still like to see how how the process to be able to get in is kind of worked out. I, I would like to see your double limbs wisp. I, I just I don't like that long trail. If you end up facing off and you have a bad matchup and but you're the second best deck, you have to if you face the wrong deck in game one, you have to run all the way back through the gauntlet. Yeah. Hey, I did oh, that no. in the KFPL bracket I'm in. I lost my first game. Yeah, that's what happened to my buddy. Like, he was know. playing Sealed Alliance for the first time. Like, it was his first big Keyforge event ever. His deck was actually pretty good. He lost game one, and then, like, he showed it to me, and we, like, switched one of the houses because it was Alliance. And then he won, like, six in a row, and then he lost the his final match. If he had won that, he would have been in. But, like, he, in the end, went six and two. While the same person in the event that went five and zero made it, like he technically won more games. Like it's really, really weird. Like I don't know. I was a big proponent of the Swiss style double limb. Just turn it into like keep it a Swiss, make it a double limb. You're out. Kind of like how we used to do with Survivor with three lives. This time you just have two lives. Same deck. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I told everyone I could think to tell. And I think we're going to be seeing just the normal double limb as presented until yeah. at least next year. But I'm it saying like that, that would be a change for me that I would like to see. I um, still think I care more about seeing like sealed as the third option. Oh, yeah. No, I, I agree I, on, a, on, like, a, on, a, on a timeline here. See, seeing sealed is number one, but that is a yeah. very, very distant, very, very distant. But it still yeah. would be important to me. Like the double limb is just like a comfort of life thing for the players. Um, for, if they do lose that first round, but like the sealed thing is huge. Like I would very much hope we see that in the future. If we end up keeping double limb, fine. We'll just have to get used to the. I don't know. It was invented for chess. Like that's yeah. The, so. It's, it's going to be great when you spend some amount of money, including a four hundred dollar flight, and then you get two owed, and you're just. <laughs> Or you get O2'd and you're just like, oh, ah, yeah. ah, second Amber, because I'm in the mood yeah. for that. The second Amber, now that this there's money on the line, people are definitely traveling for this. Like, That's my other hope. We have no idea how that's going to be run. We all were super hopeful about what we thought it was going to be at KFC. Even coming back, we all talked about how it could have been great. Um, so I do hope to see a better iteration that i don't hope to I just, play in i i i, I think the only <laughs> thing the forward. only thing that needs to really be changed about second ember is the structure it, it needs to be more it's not it, this it needs it should, to be more formal it needs to yeah. have more structure right i should still yeah. get a, a alert on my i guess i don't know how they're doing you should I, still feel like you're playing in a tournament and there right. should still be something you can win like that's yeah. the two things that well, need there, to be there happening. definitely is something like you could win. Like they did the the drawings and whatnot, which was great. Like that's fine, but like I definitely felt like once I was out, it's like all right, you're in second number, go find someone to play, and I'm like, um, like you're not gonna what? party with somebody, <laughs> yeah. like yeah. you know that what I mean? Sounds, like I, I didn't I, play any part of that, but that sounds really weird because like I could have because I went O two and see the Lions. But I spent the entire time playing Unchained because I was having right. a ball. But like, um, uh, I mean, we don't know forward, if Unchained like real prizes. I would be doing that. For sure. We don't. We don't know if Unchained's gonna be like that. We don't know if that's going to be an option for you know what I mean at the next Vault Tour. Yeah. Like we don't. We don't know if Unchained's gonna be just available in a thing where they like, oh pick up an Unchained deck and kind of do the same thing. We don't know if that's an option. So I would like the only thing I would say if it's if you're going to continue to do Second Ember, which I think is a fine idea. Um, like just put more structure to it. Like still like put me in a new bracket, right? That you can, I guess, edit and they're making the program. So they should be able yeah. to do that. Um, and just be able like, tell me like, okay, Ryan plays Z or Wookie plays Z walk. Well, okay. And then I can go play Z walk and then we can report it like we normally do. 
you may have hit why I, Second Amber was run iffy at the last event because the software doesn't support it. Right. So, and then well, they, was, were, they were just using Chalon. So, they just so using when Chalon. they make their own software, if it's designed to be like, hey, you've been eliminated, do you want to join Second Amber? And you say yes, and it puts you into that, that tournament awesome. structure, like it will be far more robust yeah. right, and easier to deal with. Because as it was, they were trying to run two tournaments, which... We're going okay, but not super smooth. And then they have to pair all the second amber stuff. Eh, yeah, that if, was, they, if they can figure work. out the software behind that, that'd be fantastic. And if they can't figure it out, they just need to find an AI and ask it. Jazzcar, oh. figure it out. <laughs> so as someone who in the, pa- in the past has been in what would have been equivalent to second amber, I really like the structure of having basically, here's your eight individuals that popped out. Or mm-hmm. after this round, after round two, um, here here's the group that's going to go ahead and you're now going to play. And it's a very structured amount for that. And so you're taking groups of eight. I actually like something as simple as if you get a win, um, we used to have those acrylic amber tokens. Yep. So something simple like that. Here's, here's the win. It's not a major cost, but that's there. And then if you end up taking down the second amber in your group of eight or how many people came out after that second round, you're going to get here's two decks or three decks or some prize that is more of a yeah. sealed item or going into the vault wall that's there, you get a chance to be able to pick. I had more fun with the old FFG playing with individuals that frankly, we just got our butt kicked again and again and again. And you can only do that so much. You have to have some prize that's in enticing you to stay otherwise it's just depressing you're like i spent money here on food i spent money to get here i spent money to get into tournament i've lost every game why should i come back so we want to keep those people engaged and excited that 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 is important to me yeah the the kf uh not kfc the kansas city thing did an interesting thing like there was like raffle ticks you got in like There was one event we all played in that you actually got, like, if you, we all had a certain amount of tickets, but if you won, you had to give the ticket to your opponent. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Like, that was actually a really clever idea. Like, that was kind of cool. So, like, as you got closer to winning the real prize, I think there was cash there, you got a lower chance of getting the, like, you know, consolation door prize type stuff, which were actually all really good. There was, like, a, a Reaper of Amber pledge from the game found. There was like some Nithlabe, like the minifigures, like a Fuzzy Gruen. Like they actually had a really good raffle set up. Um, but yeah, like that, I think our point kind of like resonates with all with each other. I, I think the the second Amber does need to be run a little bit better, not like anything crazy, just structured. Um, and they need to have things that people are still playing for that are that are worth getting, right? That are meaningful. Yeah. Yeah. And bring back the chairs. <laughs> no, no, do not do that. Well, I mean, but do not. Them. No, like there's no reason to do something like that. Like I, that, I FFG a... tried to overextend on so many fronts. That's why they sucked at everything. I need a new chair, um, and I like I like the look of the new Grim Reapers. No, purple, so, purple just, and yellow. Like what they, you, hear what know... you hear that? He wants some geistoids on his chair. That's right. <laughs> no, give I mean, us some like make... more. Like this this no. give us uh, a custom deck option. Let us pick the houses. Come on. <laughs> I want to pick the houses of a See, custom deck. That's as, all much I as, I li- as much as That's I like it, it seems like time. such a terrible idea. <sighs> what? I mean, there's so what, many like, terrible what? ideas. Why not take a fun one? Come on. What? A fun one for I mean, like, You can already play Alliance, so what does it hurt if you pick the three houses and get random cards? Ooh. Exactly. Oh, look at that. You saw that? Yeah. Are you looking at that? Looking at what? what uh, Grim Reminder spoiler? No, we're not no, talking we're not. about Grim we're Reminder not. spoilers. I know we're not talking about it, but I saw, but I saw, I heard Drazkars go, "Ooh, look at that!" I wonder if you saw it. I did see it. It's, ooh, yeah. Ooh. So to to refocus, I know a lot of individuals are super excited about Gen Con. Gen Con was announced earlier, and a lot of people had plans to come. Are you guys looking at the Vault Tour now that we're all here? Did and they Gen put it Con? up yet? Uh, no, so our next announcement that I'm waiting for, honestly, is the large announcement of what GG is running at Gen Con. Uh, yeah, our, I went to our, register our, for the events yeah. or put them on the wish list or whatever the crap Gen Con's telling me it's to do. It's not up and there I'm yet. Like, I can't find it. Yeah, it's not up no, there yet. But, but, I mean, we talk about our Discord and we had people 
yeah, that they're working came it. it. They are working on it, and and they voice that in our our Discord. So it was great to see they're communicating with us. I'm excited, and you know, getting space from Gen Con. Gen Con's a very very large like, con. They have to I have like enough how space. The so past I guess. like three months have just disappeared. Oh, we finally got communication. Everything's good again. Well, what's wrong? That's right. I mean, it helps. Uh, That's how we work here, sheep. You've sh- been here long enough to know this. Whoa, whoa, has ship sheep. We have vault tours. You and There's I are going to like, complain we're, about yeah, like, now. Now we're, sheep we're, wants yeah, to complain yeah, that because I already booked all my vacation and did things because it wasn't announced in a fashion that allowed me to plan for it appropriately. Listen, Being if sheep. you had more fanaticism, you yeah, just there's the fanaticism. Who has what? more fanaticism than me? All you got to do, uh, is di- all you got to do, <laughs> sheep, is ditch your family. Well, let's and look you can at play it. All the Who ditches their family for KeyForge more than me? That's true. I, I mean, I can't. Me. I can't. I, I can't. I, 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 you I, used to bring your family, Z. Well, they are not with me anymore. They quit. Well, <laughs> they quit. I. They quit Z or they quit. Uh, nope, not. No, no. Everything's yeah. good. They quit. When, good. When, good. Z, would you like to tell us when your kid's birthday is? No. Um, they'll schedule birthday? a vault tour that day. I'll have to look it oh, up. Don't do it. February 7th. <laughs> oh, it's already passed. Never mind. Yep. Yeah. It'll never be during vaults based on the new schedule. I was going to say, no, don't and tell them. And he's had 16 of them anyway. I don't need to be at the <laughs> next yeah. one. I think this in September, and I already told him, like, if it's if it's playtime, kid, you're on your own. I'll see you later. Like, that's a diminishing return on value. Once they've had so many, <laughs> the next ones oh aren't goodness. worth as much. This is such an awkward conversation. I'm not some, gonna lie. Some to of you. us, some of us love our families dearly, and uh, others, ah, Keyforge, we got this. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Jr. Well, I'm, I love- I'm not gonna lie. I think you're the only one here who who loves their family that much. But uh, I mean, my kids, yeah. they're all right. You know, <laughs> like they're okay. Um, but to I'm not gonna. JR, for the most part. JR does have an awesome family. So. I mean, I'm not. I can't, I've invested a lot of time there. It's, I, I it can't. Off. I can't miss their birthday. No, like, what kind not, of father oh, does I, that make I, me? I definitely could do that. Yeah, like the the same father who like tries to get them to not be around for my birthday. Like, it's a birthday. Yeah, my birthday okay. is basically this weekend. See, my birthday is the nineteenth of September. I'm going now, to be in Dallas. Now, now to be honest with you, if I missed my son's birthday, he probably wouldn't give 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 care. But if I missed my daughter's birthday, oof, that's a big deal. What about your wife's birthday? Uh, we're not going to talk about my. Well, actually, no. My wife's birthday is December fifteenth, so there will be no key forge because I mean Christmas is like. Well, the I'm just saying, like. That. The she best thing I can get anymore. my wife right. is sending my kid to grandma's and disappearing for the weekend, and my wife would have the happiest birthday ever. Yeah, I don't think my wife would like all that. Uh, I Not, and, and by I don't think my wife would like all that. I mean, my wife would hate that. She she would not be a fan. But like my I can't miss my daughter's birthday. So you have a boy. It's easy. Oh, here's your gift. You like it? Yeah, I love it. Okay, go on. Go you play give with gifts it. for birthdays. Um. Typically, yeah. Be like, look, kid, I can stay for your birthday and you get a two hundred dollar gift, or I can leave for your birthday and you get a five hundred dollar gift. Wow. Done. <laughs> <laughs> See now, now, now. To be honest, if I gave my son that option, he'd be like, I don't know what you're still doing here. Like, what? Exactly. <laughs> but if I told my daughter that, she would be like, she would definitely take the hundred dollar gift. How like a thousand percent she would like. It's just, well, it is what it is. I mean, it sucks. It, you know, 2023, we're going to just kind of call a wash this year when it comes to, well, I mean, so only, there's only three announced. May, maybe I get to squirm one. Maybe there will be one in Collinsville. <clears throat> maybe there'll be one in Milwaukee. I, I, you I, could just... I doubt it. <laughs> but I- Illinois is close enough. And I yeah. have friends in Illinois, so it's not, you know, it's not really a big deal. So I mean that's that's an easy that's number one. It's an easy travel. It's an easy stay. It's Chicago an easy alone place. has a lot of people, mm-hmm. and that would draw St. Louis. That would draw that y'all. Would draw Milwaukee. Draw that would draw the Minnesota people again. Yep. Like that's the. But that then then we got to hear about I all had... the people who aren't in the Midwest. Being like, oh, I yeah, I don't think it's, yeah, we're we're right. Right. we don't really care when they whine. So that's okay. true. I really well now that care. we've covered no useful information during this podcast here today what useful um, information do you want to cover she uh, well, no, I, 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 
He never wants All to I'm throw saying is we've prison. talked about nothing long enough, and I've got stuff to do. So, oh, uh, oh where's your? Wait, where, saying, where, let's let's wrap this baby. Where's up. your? Where's your fanaticism? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, well, it comes in tomorrow when I have to play KeyForge. Oh, okay. Right? Fair enough. His, his fanaticism is working on figuring out whether his, he can go his, to Philly. His fanaticism is waning right now. But that's going to do it for us, this guys. Thank you, everyone who joined us in the chat. Greatly do appreciate it. If you guys want to join us, we are live every Thursday, 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's an important bit of information. It's not Eastern Time as a dress core. Probably not. Probably not. I mean, no. we, we, we do have seven people in listening. I know that for the wins, uh, the game found campaign, it said address the situation. It is closing by this morning this isn't gonna come out in time for people to no 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 but just for you to disappoint them <laughs> oh my address it had, that was not my ah, now that you know you're too late <laughs> it, I was my... saying, it's already shipped it's already out it's already gone my, my question for you guys was they showed the image of what do the i save keyforge cards look like yes, what did you did. think oh, right. oh i like off. the gold look I think it's pretty sweet. It's in line with what we had talked about when we were talking about how they can make prizes that are cool. And that kind of overlay on decks makes them cool, visually though. meek and appealing. Yeah. Um, but it's you it's have in to, line with spoiling, right? But you, but you have to make the unique and appealing stand out. Or not yeah, stand out. I'm stand sorry. Out. You have to and make the immediately unique immediately covered up with the card sleeve. But you have mm-hmm. right, but you have to make the unique. Well, they could do that treatment to every single card in the deck if they really wanted to. I do wish they the did. other side is, oh, did they? is the other is the yeah. actual player playable side yeah. different. Yeah, yes, okay. I do and believe that, so. I like they're that. both very gold, but it's much like the gamma decks. If there the you deck, go, in AC live chat, awesome. take a peek. I got I you. like that. I like oh. I, dig, I dig that a lot. I Could thought you? it was beautiful. That's why I wanted to take a moment and actually acknowledge. Yes. I think that yeah, because really I well never care what the backside looks like. If I'm playing the deck, you don't ever get to see it. But also, the nobody, nobody's going to care. Being that way is real cool. Nobody's yeah, going to care if the deck sucks and it goes into the bin. That's like all decks. Uh, yeah, maybe. Now, but now those, yeah. those will always live in yeah. a special box of yeah. shit I don't yeah. care about. <laughs> the, the, I was gonna say what the other box. I, I have hey, a whole box of collector shit. stuff that. Again, hey, maybe yes, I don't throw away these decks today. right now. On the other hand, I'll try one of these. <laughs> oh my goodness! Each friendly non-token creature <laughs> game destroyed. Make it. Okay. Yep. All right. That's gonna do it for us this week, guys. We'll see y'all next week. Happy forging, everyone. May the forge be with May the forge be with you. I don't wanna feel how I did last night. And it didn't please Have mercy on me and take this pain away. Give me my symptoms, doctor. I don't wanna feel what I don't wanna feel like I felt last night.